Well, what we're doing with Department of Agriculture is they're collecting samples throughout East Tennessee, uh, delivering those samples to us, and we're trying to, to confirm uh, presence of uh, walnut twig beetle in these samples. We're working with a plant pathologist in his lab, Dr. Mark Wyndham, who's also trying to confirm the presence of the fungal pathogen, which is known as Geosmithia, the genus of that. When samples uh, are delivered to us, we take the samples and we place them in our uh, refrigerator unit so we can come back and process them. We try to process them as quickly as we can so that the sample doesn't deteriorate, dry out, or things happen to it in our uh, unit and the process samples basically when we work with those samples we uh, uh, we are sent twigs uh, small branches and those branches uh, uh, have living bark on it and we start peeling back the bark first we look for exit holes on the bark or entrance holes where the beetle may be present and then we start just uh, cutting back the bark looking for uh, beetles looking for beetle damage and also looking for cankers as an initial step for the plant pathologist. And once we're done with a sample, we uh, provide it to the plant pathologist and they uh, look for cankers. Any potential cankers are plated on a, a media plate where they grow the fungal pathogen. And if Geosmithia, the walnut twig fungus, comes out of there, then they have confirmation.